Chapter 1 My sweet family Mother, father and their children make a family. Mother and father are called parents. This is my friend Rohit's family. How many members are there in Rohit's family? Does Rohit's sister have long hair? Is Rohit's mother wearing a sari? Is Rohit's father wearing spectacles? Rohit has brother and sister. Types of families. Anju lives in a joint family. There are 10 members in her family. Anju lives with her grandfather, grandmother, father, mother, brother, uncle, aunt and cousins. A joint family has many members. Aman lives with his mother. His mother teaches in a school. He helps his mother at home. His mother helps him with his homework. There is no other member in Aman's family. His family is a single parent family. A family in which father and mother live only with their children is called a nuclear family. Parents living with one or two children is called a small family. Parents living with more than two children is called a big family. Rashmi lives with her father, mother and elder brother. Her family is a nuclear family. Her father is a doctor and her mother is an actress. Rashmi's parents leave for work in the morning. After returning home from school, Rashmi and her brother take out their food from the hot case and eat it. They also change their clothes on their own. Their parents return in the evening. They share their stories of the day with each other. They have dinner together. Both Rashmi and her brother also help their parents at home. We may be part of any kind of family. We love our family members and live happily with each other. Do you know? In earlier days, most of the families were joint families. Nowadays, most of the families are nuclear families. Children can also help their parents. Children can help their parents at home in many ways. They can keep their room clean. They can do their homework on their own on time. They can water the plants. Chapter 2 Food Food is our basic need. We eat food to live. It gives us energy to work and play. It helps us grow. It also protects us from diseases. Can you name the following food items? Types of food Energy giving food Foods that give us energy to work and play are called energy giving foods. Chapati, potatoes, rice, butter, nuts and sugar are energy giving foods. Body building food Foods that build our body and help us grow are called body building foods. Eggs, milk Fish, nuts, cheese, curd and meat are body-building foods. Protective food. Foods that protect us from diseases are called protective foods. Fruits and vegetables are protective foods. Balanced diet. We should take a balanced diet to stay fit and healthy. A balanced diet gives all the essential nutrients to our body. We should eat a little of all food items. Raw and cooked food. Some foods are eaten raw and some are eaten cooked. Salads, fruits and nuts can be eaten raw. Fish, meat, pulses and many vegetables are cooked before they are eaten. Sources of food. We get food from plants and animals. Food from plants. We get most of our food from plants. We get rice, wheat, pulses, fruits and vegetables from plants. We eat different parts of a plant as food such as stem of sugarcane, fruit of mango tree, root of radish and leaves of spinach. Food from animals. We also eat fish, meat and eggs. Those who eat fish, eggs and meat are known as non-vegetarians. Some people do not eat fish, 
meat and eggs. They are known as vegetarians. Meals of the day. We eat four meals in a day. Breakfast. In the morning, before we leave for school, we eat breakfast. We usually have bread, egg, milk, fruits, juice, idli or stuffed parathas. Breakfast is the first meal of the day. Lunch. In the afternoon, we eat lunch. We have rice, chapatis, dal and vegetables for lunch. Supper. Light meal which we take in the evening is called supper. We drink a glass of milk and eat biscuits or some other light snacks in supper. Do you know? People who do not eat any animal products are called vegan. Dinner. The last meal of the day Chapter 3. Water Name any three activities in which you need water. We need water to live. We cannot live without water. We need water for drinking, bathing, washing, cooking, cleaning and putting out fire. Sources of water We get water from different sources. Rain, waterfall hand pump, river, well, pond. Rain is the main source of water. How water is supplied in cities? Rain water falls in lakes, ponds and rivers. This water is collected in large tanks and cleaned. Then the clean water is supplied to our homes. Water needs to be boiled before drinking. Water purifiers are also used to purify water. If we drink impure water, we may fall sick. Animals and plants also need water to live. Do you know? A huge amount of water on the earth is in the seas and oceans. We cannot use this water because it is salty. Save water. We should use as much water as we need. We should turn off all taps properly when not in use and mend the leaking pipes if any. While bathing or brushing our teeth, we should not keep the tap or shower running. We should take as much water in a bucket as we need for bathing. Some Chapter 4 Clothes we wear clothes to cover our body. Clothes protect us from heat, cold, rain and wind. Clothes make us look good and smart. Long ago, people did not wear clothes. They covered their bodies with leaves and skin of animals. Can you name these clothes that we wear? Different clothes for different seasons. We wear clothes according to seasons. It is very hot during summer, so we wear light cotton clothes. Cotton clothes absorb sweat and keep our body cool. During winter, it is too cold, so we wear woolen clothes as they keep us warm. In winters, we wear coats, mufflers, jerseys, sweaters and gloves. During rainy season, we wear raincoats and gum boots. We also use umbrellas when it rains. We must wear clean clothes. We must dress up smartly. We must take care of our clothes. Clothes from animals and plants. 
We get cotton from cotton plants. We get wool from sheep. We get leather from the skin of dead animals. Leather is used to make jackets, coats, shoes, bags, purses, gloves and belts. A raincoat is made of rubber or plastic. We get rubber from rubber trees. We wear silk clothes on special occasions. Silk clothes are made from silk thread. We get silk from silk worms. Taking care of clothes. We should wash clothes regularly. We should keep our clothes in a shelf or cupboard. We should keep them away from mice and insects. We should not play at dirty places. Dresses of our country. People wear different types of dresses in different states of our country. Punjab, Maharashtra, Jammu and Kashmir, West Bengal. Uniforms. People doing different types of work dress differently too. These dresses are called uniforms. Children also wear uniforms when they go to school. Firefighter, doctor, soldier, police officer. Chapter 5 Our Houses We need a house to live in. A house protects us from heat, cold, rain, thieves and wild animals. We feel safe in our house. There are many kinds of houses. Pakka house. Houses built of bricks, cement, stone and wood are called pakka houses. These houses are very strong. Pakka houses such as bungalow, multi-story apartments and flats are mostly seen in towns and cities. Bungalow. A bungalow is a single or double story house with a lawn. Multi-story apartments. Multi-story apartments are tall buildings found in cities. Many families live there. Kacha house. Kacha houses such as huts are built of mud and straw. These houses are not very strong. They are seen mostly in villages. Some special kind of houses. Igloo. Igloos are the houses built of snow. They are found in very cold places. Eskimos live in igloos. Tent. Tent are the houses that can be folded and carried away from one place to another. They are made up of canvas. Soldiers and scouts use tents. Caravan. Caravans are the houses on wheels. People who move from one place to another live in a caravan. Do you know? The people who live in caravans are called Banjaras in India. House on stilts. Houses built on poles are known as houses on stilts. They are found on marshy lands or places which receive a lot of rain. Houseboat. Houseboats are floating houses that are found in lakes or other water bodies. We can see houseboats in Kashmir and Kerala. Roofs of houses. Some houses have flat roofs. These are found in plains and hot places. Some houses have sloping roofs. These are found on hills or places which receive snow or heavy rainfall. Snow and rain slide down the sloping roofs. Thatched roofs are made up of wood, straw and mud. Huts have thatched roofs. An ideal house. An ideal house is one which has sufficient space and a lot of light and fresh air. We must keep our house neat and tidy. We can also grow plants near our houses. Chapter 6 Our Neighborhood Many families live around our house. Do you know the families living around your house? Name any three of them. People living near our house are called our neighbors. There are many houses, buildings, offices, schools and shops around our house. The area around our house is called our neighborhood. 
There are many neighborhoods in a town or a city. Neighbors share many things with each other. We make friendship with other children in the neighborhood. We play together. People of a neighborhood celebrate festivals and other functions together. We also give each other gifts and sweets. Good neighbors. Good neighbors care for each other. They help each other at times of need. We should not disturb our neighbors. We should not play loud music. We must not park our cars in front of their gates. We should play in the park, not in the lane. Keeping neighborhood clean. We must keep our neighborhood clean and tidy. We should not throw garbage outside our house or in the lanes. We must grow plants and trees in our neighborhood. Chapter 7 Places in our neighborhood There are hospital, police station, bank, market and other important places in our neighborhood. We go there for different purposes. Police station All neighborhoods have a police station. Policemen work in a police station. They guard the neighborhood and keep us safe. They also help us find our lost things. We call the police by dialing the number 100. Bank A bank is a place where we keep our money for safety. We also withdraw our money for use when we need it. We can also take out money from bank, ATMs, that is automated teller machines. Hospital we go to a clinic or hospital when we are not well. Doctors and nurses help us to get well. Ambulances pick up patients from their homes and bring them to the hospital. We dial the number 102 to call an ambulance. Shops and market. We need fruits, vegetables, bread, milk, eggs and many other things every day. We buy these things from shops. Many shops together make a market. Post office. We have a post office in our neighborhood. There is a letter box in the post office. We drop our letters in the letter box. The postman separates them according to the addresses. From there, they are sent out to different places. Do you know? Long ago, pigeons were used to send letters from one place to another. Fire station. There is a fire station in a big neighborhood. If there is a fire in the neighborhood, we dial 101 to call the firemen. They come in a red fire engine to put out the fire. Chapter 8 My School A school is a place of learning. We go to school to learn many things. We read stories and work with numbers. We also learn to draw and paint, sing and dance, and take part in various activities and games. Different parts of a school. A school has many parts. We do different activities at different parts of the school. We go to the music room to learn singing and dancing. We go to the computer room for computer classes. We go to the playground to play games. We go to the library to read storybooks and newspapers. We go to the art room to draw and paint. We go to the school garden to see flowers and plants and enjoy on swings. We go to the sick room when we do not feel well. Our morning prayer is held in the assembly hall or in the ground. Other functions are also held in the assembly hall. School staff Many people work in this school. They are called school staff. The principal is the head of the school. He or she looks after all of us. The teachers teach the students. Some teachers teach us languages and number work. Some teachers teach us to sing, dance and play. There are drivers to drive school buses. There are gardeners to tend to the garden. 
There are peons to ring the bells and to serve water. There are watchmen to keep watch on the children. They also guard the school. There are sweepers to keep the school clean. What we learn? A school is an important place of learning. It is also called the temple of learning. We should not spoil our school property. In school, we listen to our teachers. We learn to have regular study hours. We learn good habits and also to behave well with everyone. My best friend lives nearby. She walks to school. Most of us take the school bus to reach school. Some travel to school in other vehicles. Chapter 9 Places for Prayer Do you pray to God every day? Write the two beginning lines of your prayer. We pray to God. Different people go to different places for prayer. We thank God for all that He has given us. Some places of prayer are Temple, Mosque, Gurudwara and Church. Temple Hindus worship in a temple. In the temples, we find the idols of many gods and goddesses. People offer flowers, fruits and sweets to gods and goddesses. The Bhagavad Gita is one of the holy books of the Hindus. Hindus celebrate religious festivals like Ram Navami, the Shehra, Janamashtami and Diwali. Mosque the place of worship of the Muslims is called a mosque. The prayer they offer is called namaz. Their holy book is the Quran. They celebrate Eid with great fun. Gurudwara Sikhs offer prayers in a Gurudwara. Their holy book is called the Guru Granth Sahib. Everyone gets halwa as prasad from the Gurudwara. The Golden Temple at Amritsar is the most famous Gurudwara in India. Church Christians go to church to pray. They pray to Jesus Christ. The holy book of the Christians is the Bible. Christmas is a major festival of the Christians. Carols and hymns are sung on this day. Other places of worship Buddhists pray in monasteries. Parsis go to fire temples to pray. All religions tell us to love each other. They also tell us to live in unity and brotherhood. Chapter 10 Festivals Tick the things you need on a festival. National festivals Independence Day, Republic Day and Gandhi Jayanti are called our national festivals. National festivals are celebrated by all the Indians. We feel proud and happy to celebrate them. Independence Day Independence Day is celebrated on the 15th August every year. India became free on this day in 1947. The Prime Minister unfurls the national flag at the Red Fort. This festival is celebrated across the country in villages, cities, towns and schools. Republic Day Republic Day is celebrated on 26th January every year. Our constitution came into effect on 26th January 1950. The Indian flag is hoisted on this day. A colorful parade is held at Rajpath in Delhi. The President of India takes the salute. School children perform songs and dances. Gandhi Jayanti Gandhi Jayanti is celebrated on 2nd October every year. It is the birthday of Mahatma Gandhi. He is known as the father of the nation. He is fondly called Bapu. We all have holidays on the national festivals. We celebrate many other festivals together. Other festivals Eid Eid is a festival of the Muslims. People go to the mosque to offer prayers. They eat sevai and have fun. They greet each other saying 
Eid Mubarak. Christmas. The birthday of Jesus Christ is celebrated on 25th December as Christmas. People exchange gifts, decorate Christmas trees with bulbs and streamers, and eat cakes and puddings. They sing carols moving around the Christmas tree. Onam. Onam is celebrated by the people of Kerala. Payasam, a sweet dish, is made from rice in every home. Boat races are also held on this day. Pongal. It is a festival of Tamil Nadu celebrated for three days. On the first day, Pongal rice is made by boiling rice, milk and jaggery in a pot. On the second day, the sun is worshipped. On the third day, cow is worshipped. Do you know? Diwali is celebrated to mark the return of Lord Rama, his wife Sita and brother Lakshman after 14 years of exile. Chapter 11 Rest and Recreation What do you do in your free time? Write any three activities. We get tired after work and study all day. We need time to rest and enjoy. A sound sleep gives us complete rest. The activities which make us happy are called recreation activities. When we are not working or studying, we have free time. During our free time, we do things which we like. Games Some of us like to play games such as chess, carom, ludo, scrabble and Chinese checkers during our free time. These games are played sitting at home. So, these are called indoor games. We also like to play games such as cricket, football and hockey. These games are played outside the house, in fields and parks. These are called outdoor games. Outdoor games help us stay fit and healthy. Other activities for recreation. We can also enjoy other outdoor activities like cycling, swimming, skipping, watching flowers, birds and butterflies, painting, singing, listening to music, dancing, reading and playing games on the computer are some of the indoor activities that we do in our free time. We also go to the zoo or for a picnic on holidays. We like going to fairs and watching puppet shows also. These activities help us to relax and have fun. Chapter 12 Directions The sun rises in the east. It sets in the west. When the sun rises, is it in front of your house? Behind your house? To the left of your house? To the right of your house? The words in front of, behind, left, right, etc. are used to show the position of something or some place. They are called directions. There are four main directions. North, South, East, West. The Himalayas are to the north of India. The Indian Ocean is to the south of India. Do you know Indian Ocean has been named after our country, India? Finding a place. When we tell our friend how to reach our home, we use the word left, right, straight, etc. Such words are used for showing directions over small areas. But when we talk about the position of other cities or countries, we cannot say left or right or up and down. So we use the names of directions north, south, east and west. Finding directions We can find out the directions with the help of the sun. In the morning, if we stand facing the sun, east is in front of us and west is behind us. South is to our right and north is to our left. Compass 
A compass is an instrument that helps us find the directions. A compass has directions marked on its dial. There is a needle which always points to the north. If we know one direction, then we can find the other three directions. Chapter 13 Means of Transport Name any three means of transport by which you have travelled. Means of transport carry us from one place to another. We use different means of transport to go from one place to another. Long time ago, people walked long distances on foot or rode animals. Wheels were not known to them then. After the invention of wheel, people started using carts with wheels. Carts were pulled by animals. Now, we travel on land, in water and air by using different means of transport. Means of Land Transport Means of land transport move on land. While moving from one place to another within the city, we use bus, car, auto rickshaw, scooters and cycle rickshaws. Some cities have local trains and also metro trains. To go far off places, we travel by buses and trains. Trains run on rail tracks. Trucks carry heavy goods over long distances. In villages, bicycles, tongas and bullock carts are used. However, some villages also have cars, jeeps, motorbikes and tractors. Do you know? The Shatabdi Express is the fastest train in India. Means of Air Transport Air transport is the fastest means of transport. We travel by aeroplanes to cover long distances in a very short time. Aeroplanes land on and take off from an airport. They take us to another city or a country. They are the most expensive means of travel. Helicopters are another means of air transport. They carry a few people. They carry food, clothes, water and other things for the people affected by earthquake, flood or war. Means of Water Transport Ships and boats are means of water transport. Ships carry people and goods from one country to another. They sail from a harbor into a sea. We travel short distances in a boat. A boat can carry only a few people. Chapter 14 Our Earth Have you ever seen the picture of the earth on the television? Take the object which has the same shape as of the earth. The earth is round in shape. The surface of earth is covered with land and water. The earth is surrounded by air. We need air to breathe. Plants and animals also need air to breathe. A thick layer of air that surrounds the earth is called the atmosphere. Most of the Earth's surface is covered with water. Earth's surface is uneven. At some places, the Earth's surface is high and at others, it is flat. These different features of Earth's surface are called landforms. Landforms. Plains. Large areas of flat land are called plains. Plains are suitable for living and growing crops. Hills. Hills are highlands with a pointed top. Mountains Very high hills are called mountains. Many of them are covered with snow. Many rivers flow down the mountains. The top of a mountain is known as its peak. Valley Valley are lowlands that lie between two mountains or hills. A valley which has a river flowing through it is called a river valley. Plateau It is a highland with a flat top. It looks like a table. So, it is also called a table land. Do you know? The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean in the world. Chapter 15 The Story of Wheel All the vehicles that move on land have wheels. Aeroplane also has wheels. 
but the number of wheels is not the same in all vehicles. Count and write the number of wheels in the following vehicles. When human beings did not know about wheels, they used to walk the distance wherever they went. They also carried loads on their back. Sometimes animals carried their loads. The story of wheel dates back to very early times. Perhaps early man saw a log of wood rolling down and the idea of wheel struck them. The first wheel might have been made by cutting logs of wood. They fitted wheels to wooden carts. This helped the carts to move easily. Today, wheels are made of rubber. They are used in all kinds of vehicles such as cars, buses, cycles, motorcycles and aeroplanes. Different vehicles use wheels of different shapes and sizes. Wheels used in cars are smaller than the wheels used in trucks.